but there can be a few misconceptions around raw feeding for your pets. So I'm here with Dr. Dan Capps, who has successfully integrated raw feeding into his Sunshine Coast veterinary practice. How are you, Dan? Well, thank you. <laughs> now, why are you happy to be such an advocate for raw feeding? It gives us another avenue of healthy feeding for animals, mm -hmm. and I think there's great benefits both medically as yes. well as just the general animal welfare of the animals over the long term with raw feed. Okay, and what are some of the more notable results that you've seen when they've when dogs have changed to a raw food diet? Weight loss, better yes. skin, yep. uh, healthier joints, uh, healthier coats, uh, a lot of general benefits just in terms of helping weight loss with joints and with belly problems, food, um, reactivity and IBD, yes. inflammatory bowel syndrome. Syndromes we see, we're starting to see more and more in animal welfare coming through. Why then do we find so many vets are against raw feeding? I think it's lack of education and training. Mm -hmm. At university, we really, in my era, we really only received about one lecture on yep. small animal nutrition. And so vets going out into the workforce and into their first jobs, and they may be influenced by corporate groups and their bosses, what they, what they think and what they sell and what they want to promote. Yes. And for me, it's also about lack of confidence that they haven't seen the years mm. and, and years of history behind a product right. that gives happy, healthy dogs and the benefits over the long term. Okay, and do you see a bit of a shift happening? We do. I think there's a great shift happening. Yep. And, and it's not polarizing shift. I think mm. people are starting to to use combinations of foods mm -hmm. and in integrate it into every practice and through most stores as well. And so based on your experience, what would be your advice for someone that's wanting to consider raw feeding? Uh, have a chat with a veterinary clinic and veterinary staff, even just on reception, and allow them to guide you and ask the right questions. Uh, tell them the history about your puppy dog, any concerns that you might have. Mm -hmm. The raw food won't suit every dog, but it does suit an awfully large number of dogs mm -hmm. with subtle little medical conditions that you may want to have that easy change of a diet mm -hmm. to help them over the long term. Okay. But have a chat with your veterinarian, explain it so you've got confidence with it as well, yes. and, and you'll enjoy what comes out the back end far better, <laughs> I'm sure. Now, are there also some specific, I guess, things we need to look at when choosing a raw food brand? I guess it's not everything's equal, is it? With any food brand, I always say, don't let your little one be the guinea pig for a new brand coming out. Yeah. Go to something with 18 years of history where they've had entire lifespans of dogs and cats coming through mm -hmm. and with having no problems whatsoever and a huge safety. And that's what you want to look for is that 18 years of history. Yes, we know Big Dog's been around for that long. So if you'd like to find out more about their range, you can visit the Big Dog website. You can also visit Pooches at Play to find out more about raw feeding. But 